So, I'm Will, I'm the Bald Bog Geek, and a few weeks ago I made a video called Toxic Fandoms. It was, there'll be a link to that down below. It was about, well, toxic fandoms, weird fandoms, bookish fandoms predominantly, and Star Wars and Harry Potter. And I've been reading some of the comments, and my god, some people have really hit the nail on the head. I've been surprised by it. One person put, the Harry Potter fandom is very obsess obsessive. A lot of them tend to rewrite the books in their heads to fit their ideas, and when new stuff comes out that doesn't fit their head canon, they get mad. And then she continued, however, I do think critiquing things is fine because it helps us better understand fiction, which is completely true. But it is a very true statement. A lot, like the head canons, you see that on toxic, horrible websites that I'm actually on, like Reddit and Tumblr. Yeah, I feel dirty admitting I'm on those. Um, it makes me cringe because you know for a fact people start thinking their own fan fiction more seriously than the books. And I've seen that firsthand with a friend as well, which was quite sad. Um, other people put, I definitely agree with the Cassie about the Cassie, Cassie and Claire books. Um, and someone we were having a little discussion, her comment was, Bald Book Geek, yes, a couple of the big cube YouTubers annoy me because they meet her and interview her and they think they're close personal friends. And then I commented, yeah, that gets to me too, is like, like, not, you're not her friend, you're a promo tool to sell more books. Um, and then someone pointed out, uh, Neil Gaiman wrote a blog post a few years ago called uh, George R. R. Martin is not your bitch and a very I will say that if you can find that post read it it's fascinating um, I mean yeah there was some negative Nora's commenting but things like Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, they always have those few who think it's all about them. They scream and shout and... And the toxic fandoms are not aimed at everybody. They're not aimed at just because I love Harry Potter. You know, it's... I love it. But the toxicity of the fandom does put me off admitting my love for Harry Potter sometimes. Another person put, it bothers me when fans think authors are there, that are there to churn out novels when they want them exactly how they want them. If fans want complete control like that, they should create their own characters and stories. It's true. It's very, very true. Um, one thing is not like, you can't tell an author how to write a book. You can't tell anyone how to do this and I will put this out there writers don't owe their fans anything they're artists they're creators they write because they enjoy it they write to create just because you don't like the direction something's going in suck it up and I know that sounds mean but it's true suck it up it annoys someone put it floors me when I hear about readers harassing authors to finish book series and it's true. And someone put, I understand the ownership people feel over stories they love. But it's just plain rude to harass people because the book isn't out yet. Or you didn't like the way it goes. Another friend who's actually on Facebook put on my thing. I can remember being struck, shocked by someone who found out Fantastic Beasts book was a screenplay. And demanded it being turned into a book by J.K. Rowling. Saying you owe us a book. We had a book. It's just not in the format you wanted. I've read plenty of plays, so perhaps it wasn't hard to read Cursed Child or Fantastic Beasts. People did pick up on the Harry Potter thing, but this goes deeper. It goes to the reaction of Star Wars. It goes to the reaction of this and that. You know, people are moaning that Star Wars is like Mary Sue shit, and I'm like, it's not. Star Wars is basically King Arthur in space. Every series of those, every film has some sort of borrowed monomyth or King Arthurial story. They just do it each time. The old wizard dies and the young guy carries on.
or girl in this case. And I feel like, I just feel like some people do get the wrong end of the stick. I wasn't insulting anyone. I was just saying how I feel about certain fandoms and the toxicity level. You go on Tumblr, you go on Reddit, you go on Facebook groups. I mean, video games have it. Legend, I was in a Legend of Zelda group on Facebook and my God, those fans. Most, I would say 95% of them were just normal fans that enjoyed the games and loved the story. And then the rest of them were, that 5% were a very vocal, very stupid group who demanded that they know every reason, that everything has to have some deep story behind it. No, it doesn't. At the end of the day, I wasn't insulting fandoms. I was telling you how I felt about them. And I stand by that discussion. I do think certain people just need to grow up, man up, suck it up, whatever. Because at the end of the day, as I said in that video, writers owe you nothing. Writers absolutely owe you fuck all. So, as always, I'm the Bald Book Geek. All of my links are in the doobly-doo. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.